Hi, let's learn how to calculate how many lots you can get per acre when abiding by zoning and planning rules. Lots per acre. Building regulations impose minimum sizes requirements for individual parcels of land. These requirements vary with zoning and must be adhered to when subdividing property. Each new lot created from the larger plot of land must be of adequate size to meet the size standard. To calculate how many lots may be created from one parcel of land while complying with minimum lot standards, follow this formula. Lots per acre formula with density requirement. One. Take the starting acres and multiply it by the percentage to be developed. This will equal the total acres to develop. Two, take the total acres to develop and multiply by 43,560 square feet per acre. This equals the total square feet available to develop. Three, take total square footage available and divide by the minimum land size requirement in square feet to equal the total lots to develop. Four, round down. You must always round down or one lot, if you round it up, you'd have a lot that would actually be too small and would not meet the minimum land requirements. So always round down as the last thing that you do. Story problem. A farmer has 112 acres of land. He wants to preserve 75% of the land for himself and sell the rest as separate lots. If zoning requires the lots to be at least 32,670 square feet, how many lots can he sell? Story problem solution. Calculate the actual land to be developed by taking the starting acres of 112 and multiply by 0.25 to equal land available for lots equals 28 acres.
28 acres times 43,560 square feet per acre equals 1,219,680 total square feet available. One million two hundred and nineteen thousand six hundred square feet divided by thirty two thousand six hundred and seventy square feet required per lot equals thirty seven point three three lots. However, you must round down to thirty seven. Thirty seven would be the answer. Rounding down. Yes, you always round down when calculating how many lots a parcel may be divided into from an existing acreage. This is the second time that you break from your primary school rules about rounding. The first was when you calculated documentary stamp taxes. With the stamp tax, you always have to round up because the government wants every bit of extra tax. In the case of dividing acreage, if zoning states that a parcel must be 12,500 square feet and you divide that number into the total square feet, you must take the answer and immediately round down. Otherwise, you would end up with one parcel that was smaller than the 12,500 required. And that would not be acceptable or allowed per the rules. By the way, I also want to point out that you have just learned the last math formula presented in this course. For those students who dread math, know that you did it. You've worked your way through all the formulas necessary to prepare for the end of course and state exam.